Well, hello. It's uh, regroup time, I guess, from uh, last week. That went terribly. Um, not much to say. Other than this is punishment week, I guess you could say. Uh, I mentioned on the Facebook thing that um, as punishment slash reward, whatever you want to call it, I am definitely going to be recording more videos. And this kind of a test, I guess, for this week of maybe other things to do in place of or including this. Um, thoughts and input are always appreciated. But we're going to a, a diverse world and uh, realizing that hyper granular within countries, I don't have the best of luck. Whereas this, maybe I do. Let's... uh back up a bit. Maybe I can't get, I can't. Well, anyway, I know that already from the bat, this is probably Denmark just because of this road sign here is A9. And I believe their uh, road system colored is red. No, it clearly isn't. Um, or we're actually, maybe we're over here in Lithuania. Yeah. A9. Who are you? It's one of these countries. A3. Zoom in. Okay, you just do the numbers. You don't do the letters. <clears throat> A3. We got A8 and A10. Is this A9? That is A9. Uh, Sia Luii. I don't see it anywhere. Let's zoom in just a smidge now. For Sia. S-I-A. Going into this with a bit more determination, a bit more confidence. Maybe confidence is the wrong word, but determination will say that I feel maybe I can do better. Last week was just awful. I mean, I, I'm not going to keep hovering or like uh, whatever that word, hovering, talking about it over and over again just because it was bad. Kedainai, Kedainia. Like, I'm not finding it here. Oh, we do have a. Does. Did it split? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, how was your weekend? I did a lot. A uh, bit. I don't want to say regret. But something, I mean, I was a little bit aware of as far as going into it. Nope, none of these. But I knew hiking, because I did do another hike this. Maybe we're like here? Is there a gas station nearby that I just didn't notice? Definitely does not look it. Uh, but the transition period between winter and spring slash summer, especially on mountains, the higher you go up, there's going to be more snow. And I was glad I wore the uh boots that I did at least that uh okay maybe we're no this leads to A9 so we're not on A9 Jonava 144 okay now I feel this is not yeah these are hmm now I feel a little uncertain there's no other A9 though is there yeah, this is, it's got to be this country. I feel it is. You know, not, unless it's up here. Uh, you just do the number. You don't do the letter with it. What about it here? No, although. All right, let's check the nine here. Four, I got just, I'm not seeing it anywhere. I think I'm going to be close regardless. I could be even closer, but... Ah, man. I think I, got, I think I got the country. No, I was completely off. It was Lithuania. Well, we've almost beaten our score from Friday. Get this... God, get off the screen. So distracting. 
Okay. Okay, gas. Let's see. I don't know where this is yet. But doing any hiking in the winter is uh pretty easy compared honestly between doing it in the summer and the winter i almost think winter is easier just because all the snow that gets on the mountains uh when they actually get the trails packed down it you know you don't have to go scaling over rocks or anything it kind of just yeah, yeah sweden taxi that's what i was trying to see it kind of just uh makes it Okay, I'm not climbing up boulders. It kind of just makes, okay, the ramp is now snow, and it's a bit easier and faster to get up the mountain. Like a normal hike in the summertime, mm, like compared to doing it in the winter, I could probably gain half hour, 20 minutes maybe. I mean, never really timed it. I just know that going now when I did, oh boy, the, uh, I had to significantly slow down because there was plenty of, parts where the snow was that it was just melted enough where there'd be sections where it would hold my weight and other ones where I'd fall right through up to my hip. And in order to make sure that I stayed on top of the snow and didn't fall underneath to the water and have, I don't know how much water go up my leg, I had to like balance on a very narrow strip in the middle of the trail. So it made it for an extremely long hike, but it was a good workout at least. Um... Originally, I tried to go to this other mountain, but it was closed off. I was like two weeks almost from, uh, maybe this sign will help me. I see something here. I was like two weeks off from really being um, able to hike that mountain. And I sat there thinking, hmm, like the actual road itself was blocked off, but I could hike up that road and to the trail. It's just like an extra mile, maybe, maybe less than that. And I was like, ah, you know what? Fuck it. I'll do it. And I decided to just grab my E10 Malm Bear Get. Just grab my bag at the, and just park my car on the side of the road. There's Malm Bear Get. And then Dunder a E45S. Where's E45S? Maybe it's down here. Let's see. Is this E45? No. Hmm. But I grab my stuff, and um, this is going to be a regional animal, well, bird, actually. I don't know if they have them in other parts of the world, but a partridge was right next to my car. And the only reason that was surprising is um, if you've ever gone hunting or walking in the woods, or hunting, actually, too, at least in the northeast of the U.S. Again, I don't know how spread out these animals are. Um, they're notorious for waiting until, they're very hard to see, they, they stand still completely, and they wait until you've actually, uh, gotten right on top of them, then they fly away, and it's, they flap their wings very loud, and it scares the shit out of you. Like, you just jump, like, oh, fuck, what was that, and it flies away. But this one, uh, did not fly away, he just kind of stood there very close to me, it was kind of surprising. Uh, got up to probably... At one point, like a foot away. So I was walking around, being like, hey, this is cool, this animal. Animal's not supposed to normally do this. And I was like, hey, I'll mess with you a bit. Walked around a bit. It kept following. Like, uh, I'd walk backwards, and it would be off to my left, and it would, like, run to kind of behind me, and then kind of walk towards my boot. And I don't know. Okay, I was off a little bit, but I got the country right again. Um... It would be off a little bit, and then it would kind of approach my me or the boot. I don't know. It couldn't really tell the time. Oh, boy. All right, so this is... I'm going to go into town a bit. Maybe I can see some more information. Tell me where we are, because I don't know where this is just yet. This could be Morocco. It just might be. Menzel Fursi. Let's, let's, let's take a look. But uh, there's a weird thing where, like, even if you know, oh, this is a little tiny bird, I don't know why I'm worried. When they start doing, like, things you're not normally expecting them to do, and they do it not aggressively, but, like, completely oblivious. Why are there so many buses on the side of the road here? Like, uh, you can, like, run at it and make noise, and normally when they do something like that, bird will fly away. This one did not. Like, he was completely just in his zone. 
like I put my leg in the air and he just kind of looked at real quick like oh shit what was that but then just went right back to paying attention to my boot I made a bunch of noise did not care and it was just like this is weird it's a little unsettling so I was like all right I'll put my bag back in the car and just drive away and I went to go put the bag in the car and he was running and it just felt to me that he was trying to get in the car would seem weird I mean it, I'm pretty sure that's not what was happening but it's like okay no you're not getting in the car and then moved around some more and then yeah he was uh followed me for a little bit in the car and it, it took a while till later that I was like you know maybe it was like partridge mating season and I think my boot is a brown color maybe fell in love with my boot and wanted to make sweet love to the boot and what I should have done is just took it off thrown it outside the car and just watched to see if he actually did anything to it but it was just weird seeing it some weird like if this was another animal, a mammal or something like rabies, it's getting near me, panic, panic type stuff. But no, it was just fun to watch. Like, I don't know if birds get rabies. I'm going to assume no. Wait, what is, what was this flag? Yeah, that's Morocco. I don't know where in Morocco this is. I'm just going to click in the middle of the country. Unless it's Western Sahara. I don't know if they have any, um, no, the writing looks different. I don't know if they have GeoGuessr in Western Sahara or uh, Google Maps there. But I drove, I was very determined just because the week before I was uh, rained out of a, another hike. So I was like, well, damn it, I'm going to hike one, even though I've already done this mountain before. I went and did it. It was nice. Very sore today. Very tired. But feel very uh, satisfied. It's a good thing that apparently I've done this enough the hiking that I'm like, I need to do this and I'll feel like happy when I do it. And that's just kind of like the thing with most things you want to do, like reading the book stuff, listening to the albums, doing the hike. It's like, I look forward to these things. It's fun to me. I enjoy it. And yeah, maybe I'll do another one next week. We'll see. We do have Mother's Day coming up. Uh, next sun, well, this upcoming Sunday, because this is going to be on Monday. I'm recording this on a Sunday as well, but let me get over here. I want to see the roundabout. You're not letting me. Fine. All right. I'll do a zoom in. Sure, mail. I don't know if these, I'm not going to probably find El Gem. Like, I think I got the country right at least. Let's see. Is it going to pop up anywhere here? Maybe I'll move us closer north, like around here. Again, had to cut out the uh, the commercial, but again, clearly, why did I think that was Morocco? It was Tunisia. I'm an idiot. But I got the continent right. <laughs> I think we've almost crushed the score for last week, which is a very low bar. Honestly, um, initial thoughts here. This could be Africa. This could be Australia. I don't know which one yet. And I'm hoping I'm clicking the right direction to find out. But I guess some more house cleaning will say. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's take a look. Again, there's going to be at least one or two extra videos, maybe more. We'll see how. Uh, oh, this is going to be perfectly timed, aren't we? We'll see how busy I am this week if I have time to do it. Okay, yes. The N1. Now I know where we are. I think I know where we are. This is Namibia. They're the N, right? They're Bs. Cs. Ms. Lou Gamka, Beaufort West. Let's take a look. Those are M's. Is there an N in... No, yeah. Mozambique does not use that. These are A's. Hmm. R's. For Rhodesia, I'm guessing. These are A's. For Botswana. Maybe we're up here. These are B's and C's. Do they go any different with letters. They seem to A, B's, and C's. Okay, what's over here? These are still R's. Okay. So, I don't think it's here, and I don't think it's here. Is Angola? 
their E's. M's. These are very deserty, though. Hmm. Is there Mozambique? What about what about A's are here? Tanzania, we got anything? B's. Okay, no. Hmm. Okay, maybe I don't know where this is. Does Australia have N? I don't I don't think so. Hmm. This shouldn't be this difficult, but apparently it is. Madagascar does not. I think I might be overthinking this. This very well could be that. These are M's. Let me switch to R's, though. Huh. These are still R's. Why do I keep feeling that it shouldn't be an R and it should be... <clears throat> Beaufort. These are M's. C's. Okay, maybe it's down here. Maybe. We got some D's. What's, what's this here? C's. Zinc mine, huh? That sounds fun. Yeah, I gotta pick a... I, I, I feel it's Namibia. But I'm not getting... Like, confirmation, satisfying confirmation that it's that. And the problem is... How far off of, am I going to be? Like, I was so confident that this was um, South Africa that it's now not. So, I guess... How bad am I? I, I probably overthought this so hard. Like, I'm just going to click here and be mad at myself when it turns out not to be. Man, I, f I bungled this hard. Wow, it was. The fuck? That, okay, so I guess that is an N. The blue sign. God damn it. I'm shaking. It's like, uh, it's, it's like in baseball when you, uh, go on that streak of striking out a bunch, you Bismala. Okay, so maybe this is Southeast Asia. Where okay, I've struck out a bunch. I've lost my I've lost my swing and my confidence, and I think that's happened here. But maybe I'm also learning too. Oh, this just feels like it could be uh, Southeast Asia. Um, we'll see if it is. A lot of plants and shit here. What are we What are we doing here? Washing. They're cleaning their motorcycle. That's cool. Although I would not get in that water. Okay, we do bananas here. Um, what is this vehicle? Anything on here that I can tell? No. Maybe this is not at Southeast Asia. This might actually be Africa. I don't know where. This is petroleum. It's petrol. So they say a Britishism. Anything on these trucks? No. There should be maybe a sign for the highway up here. Can I get on it? And click all the way over here. Okay, it doesn't work. Is there any road signs over here? Uh, my eyes hurt. It just suddenly started to hurt. I think I'm falling apart slowly. Come on. Give me some signage. Is that a sign? No. Is that a sign? These are. Okay. And that's Uganda. Tirupati. Along Northern Bypass. I think that's Uganda. The Ugandan flag. Where are you, Uganda? There we go. Caribou. Is there a caribou in here? Maybe? I don't see it. Now we got Kibui, Kakindu. Or Tirupati. Maybe that's what I should look for, is Tirupati. 
Maybe it's a big enough uh, city in this country. Kalpata Kiru Tiru. Look for Tiru Potty. I'm going to put us in the country here so I don't forget. But it's interesting that they have Indi well, at least Indian investment in here. Let's see. Kiru Potty. I can't even remember the word. What is wrong with my brain? Tiru Potty. Kashongi. Kiebando? Maybe? I'm not seeing it. Like, I feel this is would be a big enough, like, city here that it would show up, but I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm overthinking it a bit. Give me some more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's, let's take a look at what this size is. Does it say anything on here? Business park. It's, Kie Bondo is the name of the city or town. I'm going to say city. I'm just not seeing it. And I ran out of time. Oh, it was outside of Kampala. Okay. Well, at least consistently enough, except for the one goof here and another goof down here. I actually didn't do bad as far as the score was, but honestly, that's just because we were using the entire globe as a range finder, I guess. But got to start somewhere for a good confidence booster. Excuse me. But uh, again, thank you all for watching. Any comments, suggestions, questions, concerns, ideas, I'm all ears. And uh, come back again real soon to uh, watch some more stuff here. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, thanks all for watching. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.